In her poetry, she is a black rose. I told her that if her skin really needed a flower, why not an African violet to go with her yellow eyes? I told her that her eyes were all the evidence we needed to prove the ancient Asiatics reached Madagascar. I told her that a black rose was common and that she was anything but common and that she was as rare as a white tiger rarely seen in the jungle of India or rare as the image of a white owl carrying off a white ermine in the bird book we saw in the museum off Big Ben where we learned the first word said on the telephone constituted a cry for help. Hey, I'm Sebastian. I just came to uh, come to my garden, which was curated by Lanique. And uh, some of my thoughts on the show are, there's just a lot of talent on these walls. Um, a lot of aesthetically pleasing work by very talented folks. Um, if there's one thing that was striking to me when I was you know, looking at the art, I found like a, a sense of repetition, almost like rhythm. Uh, you see a lot of these paintings have like you know, a flower repeated a couple of times. And um, I thought it was just interesting to see that. And I feel like it's a very painstaking process because these are all, you know, hand painted. And, um, you know, it was, it was just a, an interesting experience and I, I encourage anyone to come check it out. What stood out to me and come to my garden was the poppy canvas. It had the milk and it had a radio and I don't know if it's a radio or TV, but it looked like Wizard of Oz, um, which is so iconic. Um, I love it, and I just love how the colors blend in together. It's very pastel. It gives me a very calm vibe whenever I look at it. And it, I don't know, it just reminds me of like the 50s aesthetic where it's all pastel. Um, it's not too loud or too bright. It's not neon. Um, and it's a very calming energy that I personally love. Um, I also like the extra details within the milk um, with the nutritional facts that comes with any milk, you know, in person. So I found that detail to be really cool. And... Hi. Uh, my name is Katherine Berenson, and I, I'm really glad that I came to this exhibit today. Um, it really affected me, in fact, more profoundly than I'd even expected. Um, I think there's a real power in the way that 
the pieces are lined up, even in a color theory um, aspect, they play off of each other. Um, and I think that's reminiscent as well of like a field of flowers um, when there's just these pieces on the wall. And I thought it was interesting that the more I was in this space, especially with the sound and the video playing, it affected me. It kind of brought me in deeper. And I think there's a profundity to this that deals with the significance of plants in a way that we tend to overlook in current culture. So I think it had a very interesting kind of a medicinal quality almost in cultural awareness. I think it's really needed and I think it was really powerful. This was really well conceived and the works as well. When I went through each one individually, the connection to cultural significance and the ties that people have to plants and their deeper meaning as well as their strong applications to healing, to rebirth, they really were highlighted in ways that were very relevant, especially things like the example of plants that are used in a certain area of the world as a contraceptive and others that have psychotropic kind of effects or um, consciousness expanding effects. And I actually felt that it did start to put me in a heightened state, um, especially with the sound. It unfolded the more I was in the space and I could have just kind of glanced at almost like the pretty things in the room, but actually it deepened for me as I went about and as I looked. Oh, can you edit that? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but as I looked at the individual pieces, it really um, taught me something more, took me in a bit deeper, and I felt there were a lot of thoughtful things with the detailing, um, a lot of connections to the feminine and its deeper relevance, but in a way that is having a catharsis um, for like cultural awareness. I feel like it dealt with a lot of rich themes about um, what sometimes forms of oppression. Um, there's like a reference to Hollywood and um, the opiate and things that have been used to manipulate people as well as the medicines that have been used to heal. Um, even relationships that are parasitic to versus symbiotic and it was really uh, amazing to kind of think about how relevant that is and how much that's mirrored in human society. So I feel like this actually brought in a depth that has a really resonant quality for today. And it deals also with a lot of the, polit there are pol political themes as well, um, spiritual rights, religious rights, especially when it comes to plant ceremonies. And the world needs to, grow in awareness and have more of a raising of awareness and consciousness about the significance of plants themselves and our deep relationship with them and the evolution of our own consciousness and how that's really been something that partners over time and that relationship is really well explored and i think the depth of using all these different types of materials um, also highlights that especially things like using the fabric even the sense of repetition in the work um, that has that referencing, it kind of harkens back to this long-standing tradition that has been uh, part of human expression for hundreds, thousands of years even of putting plants, flowers into our clothing and into our items. But I think it does something that's also really relevant in a modern way. Um, there's really a strength here and a cleverness in the way the pieces all come together and they say something about like in a multi-sensory way um, with the things that are made by hand and the, and the natural and um, the like aromatic qualities as well as the living presence of these plants that are here and the things that are created out of felt and um, different forms and the bringing together of these different artists it all layered and, and it deepened and even though there's something that happens strongly with pattern where it's like a repetition of maybe the same flower not one is really the same even though there is that power of the repetition 
each one is unique. Each brush, brush stroke actually makes them different. Um, so there was just a lot that resonated for me in this space. And I think that I think that there's even more here and I really look forward to seeing it continue and develop um, because this is something that affects humanity's future as well. Our awareness of plants, our awareness of the medicines that we do depend on, the things that give us food that have even clothed us from the earliest times in humanity. Uh, there was just a lot of intelligence that was put into this, um, a lot of deep consideration and there was something that um, really reached me in a personal way that I think was really relevant, especially when it deals with references to plant ceremonies. Um, I started to actually have a bit of a ceremonial feeling as I absorbed the space, and especially as I absorbed the sounds, the soundscaping, and saw the media um, representing these images in a moving way on the screen. That really elevated it, and it brought a whole new way to consider these things. As I went around, I ended up really getting into much deeper thoughts about the process of certain examples of art with the photography, the lighting, um, especially like using a chemical capture of light pressed with real flowers and, and then other forms of image making using graphite, using like colors of paint and, um, and found objects as well. There was just something really rich here and also dealing a lot with, I think, human rights, um, women's rights, and the rights of nature. So this was a very strong collaboration um, that's taken place with these artists, but also the presentation, I think, really deepened the flow and the power of the messaging here. And I think they come together in a way that really sits with me and um, it's really kind of activated something for me and I feel like when I walk outside I'll be seeing nature a little bit differently too and much more aware of the different life forms that I share my space with so um, it was really a great experience to come to this exhibit today and I'm really glad that I came to this and um, I feel like I can kind of keep going around and I'll still get something more out of it um, and I know that I, I could watch those videos like many times um, and they'll probably take me into a deeper space. So thank you. Um, I'm really glad that I came today and I think that the creativity here and the use of mixed media, it's really well balanced and it's, it's definitely very effective. So um, I think it's also really, really relevant um, to indigenous people to first world people, first nation people, and to all the sorts of world cultures and to our medicines that we take every day. And um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of deeper meaning and there's a lot of thought that went into this. And there's a lot of references that layer, um, even with other artists, earlier artists. Um, I really enjoy the, the voices that I hear and also like really creative use of images of plants um, growing over time, AI, like this is just quite a powerful merger of traditional modalities and the ancient traditions with plants. And it's bringing it in a whole new way um, to the world, I think in a whole new uh, fashion to kind of enlighten this era and in a modern context. So, it's definitely a, a really wonderful relevance of the old and the new and in a reimagined in a reimagined platform. Hi, my name is Lonique Noel. I'm from St. Thomas, US Virgin Islands, and we are here in my exhibition titled Come to My Garden and All Immersive Experience. I made this exhibition because I, as an artist, primarily a painter, I paint flowers um, in symbolic patterns. And I made this exhibition, it's a group exhibition, to learn more about how other artists interpret flowers and like their different ways that they do it through their preferred medium.
My favorite piece would be my piece post coital because um, it's what started my flower paintings. It's the very first one I did. And then from there on, I liked the repetition. I liked how it looked. So I was like, I want to do more of this. Those love flowers have so many different meanings um, to so many different people. They all mean something different based on the culture they're from or what they're used for. So through my work, I like to gather different flowers with similar meanings together and make a bouquet, if you will, through painting. As I am primarily a painter, I do enjoy painting the most, but I will say making my piece Euphoria out of flower petals, essential oil, water, and charcoal, I made incense. So that was a very interesting experience because it reminded me of playing in dirt, if you will. Um, so that's not something I experience very often. It was different. Art means creativity. Art means, art is something anyone can do, you know? Whether it's abstract, realism, whatever it is, anyone can do it, um, anyone can enjoy it. And I think that's what's so important. Art is meant to be seen and viewed by as many people as possible. I have always been interested in art. It sounds cliche, but even as a child, I was always drawing on things or using the little like watercolor coloring books. So that's where my love for it came. And then it was, I was in the seventh grade and at first I was doing chorus and drama, but I, something just told me, you know, try art. So I got more I got more into it and from there on, in the seventh grade, I decided I wanted to pursue art as a career. I wanted to be a painter. Um, I've always been painting. I love painting. I'm self-taught. And from there on, in high school, I decided I want to be a curator. The curator is the person who puts the exhibition together. They pick the pieces and they put it together for the public to view. 